Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Malpin Man James here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to be a successful real estate investor. Stay tuned because you're not going to miss this one. The first thing you have to know whenever you want to be a successful real estate investor is knowing your numbers, right? So knowing your numbers, knowing the cash flow, the uh, appreciation percentage in that specific area, because if you didn't know, uh, specific zip codes, neighborhoods, they appreciate differently than ones in different zip codes. You're also gonna wanna know the what type of a, what mortgage, um, the interest, the taxes, insurance. You're gonna wanna know all of this if you're gonna want to succeed in real estate investing. Some people do get lucky, some people they get handed a real estate property and that could be very dangerous for a person just acquiring this property and wanting to rent it out it could be very dangerous if that mortgage is a thousand dollars a month and that property can only rent out maximum for nine hundred dollars you're gonna be losing a hundred dollars every single month through and through guys numbers are the most important thing in real estate investing most horror stories that come out of real estate investing are not getting the rent that they thought they were going to because they just they did they didn't know what type of rents that were going for in that area they didn't do their research they didn't know their numbers they didn't ask anyone guys if you don't know something ask youtube it google it i promise you the answer is out there if you dig deep enough so the the second thing that i want to talk to you about um on how to be a successful real estate investor is guys it, it's about mindset so you need to find out your big why if you don't know your why this is going to push you around it's going to beat you down so for for me personally right um <laughs> i was i was about to get into the shower i was under property or i was under contract with the, my very first property and all of a sudden I just had a very, very, very bad anxiety attack about, well, if this doesn't work, uh, what if I just have to pay out of pocket for this, this mortgage? I, I have the money to pay for that. But in my head, it's just, it was freaking me out. So my why is my son. The reason why he is my big why is because I don't want to have to miss any sporting events, any school events, any big thing in his life. I do not want to miss that. I want to go to birthday parties. I don't have to miss that because I'm stuck at a job. I have this memory imprinted in my, in my head with, I'm just looking down at my son whenever we're on the couch and he's just looking up at me and giving me this big smile. That is what I go back to whenever I'm having some sort of anxiety attack from this real estate investing life. And it really just helps me, it helps me push through, it helps me know what the end result is going to be. I'm not gonna be missing any of my son's graduations, football, basketball, soccer games, whatever it may be. I'm not gonna miss that because I have set myself up from the very beginning because I have put my mindset to work. If you're taking some sort of value out of this video, can you please just drop a like and a subscribe down below? It really does help out the channel. It helps me reach a bigger audience. That way I can help more people achieve their financial freedom through real estate and monthly dividend investing. Guys, the third and final thing I, I wanna to talk to you about on becoming a successful real estate investor is you need to build a team. The people that I mentor, I legit tell them, Google, real estate agents in the area that you are wanting to invest in. That's gonna pull up a whole list of realtors, real estate agents, and you can see the reviews. Go on, uh, go on there and see the reviews, call them up. Basically, tell them what you're looking for. Tell them you want this property to meet this criteria, uh, the purchase price you're looking for, bedrooms, bathrooms, so on. After you found that real estate agent that is going to work with you, uh, have them set you up with an automatic email list. That's that's what I do. I get deals every single day. I vet them myself. I see what type of cash flow, what type of mortgage, knowing your numbers. And that way I can tell for myself if it's gonna be a good deal or not. The next is getting a lender. Call around. Again, Google lenders in the area that you're wanting to invest in. See what type of lenders are investor friendly. 
see what type of lenders will give you the best rate uh, down payment. So for my down payments, I found a lender that will allow me to only put down 15% instead of 20% down on an investment property. That is massive. That is thousands of dollars that I don't have to come out of pocket to put down on, on a rental property. That makes my ROI so much bigger, double digits bigger than what I would get if I had to put 20 to 25% down on a real estate property. That's gonna be the end of today's video. Uh, please drop a comment and a like, subscribe down below um, on what you think the biggest tip is to become a successful real estate investor. But until next time guys, I'll check you in the next one.